Hello friends, I'm Jill Wyoskowski, a librarian at Caroline Kennedy Library. I'm into crafts that repurpose or upcycle items that typically gather in drawers or we plan to drop into our recycling bins. In this episode of Handmade at Home, I'll show you how to put those wine corks you've been saving to good use by turning them into trivets for your kitchen. Let's get started. Step 1. Supplies. The supplies for this project are pretty easy. A flat surface to work on. You may want to cover your workspace with newspaper or a small piece of cardboard as you'll be working with glue. Wine corks. Many folks save their wine corks as they're mementos from an enjoyable time with friends and family or a memory of a delicious meal created in their kitchen. Last but not least, you'll need craft glue. Opt for a glue that dries clear as that will save you a great deal of trouble during this project. Step 2. Sort. This step is optional. If you wish to create a pattern with color contrast, this step is for you. I separated my corks into two groups, those with a white hue and those with the traditional cork color of tan. Maybe you have a bunch of plain corks and some with beautiful designs. Sort them however works best for you and your project. On to our next step. Step 3. Pattern. I had the most fun with this step, experimenting with different patterns until I found the one that grabbed me. Originally, I planned on doing a herringbone pattern until I tried to arrange my corks. I couldn't get that just right look and found myself on the struggle bus. I opted for simple and decided on this pattern, which alternates cork color for a splash of contrast. Step 4. Glue time. Like the other steps, this one is pretty straightforward. Be generous with the glue. It dries clear. Apply pressure and move on to the next cork. I'm going to admit I was initially skeptical about this step and didn't see this project working out, but it did. Corks are imperfectly perfect, beautiful in their own way. A generous amount of glue will help bridge and fill the gaps between the corks. I used a toothpick to push glue into some of the cracks, but I don't think it's necessary if I had been generous with the glue. Step 5. The easiest step. Walk away and let it dry. Bazinga! You just successfully upcycled your old wine corks. Thank you for dropping by and watching this episode of Handmade at Home. We would love to see your wine cork trivets. Feel free to send us your pictures at dhreference at gmail.com or tag them on social media using the hashtag dhclibraries. I'm Jill Wyoskowski with Caroline Kennedy Library. Stay connected with us at dhcl.mishlibrary.org and on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now on Pinterest. Thanks for tuning in.